I've always looked at that commercial that Porsche had. Nothing even comes close, and they're so right. Nothing comes close to that car. You're in a, a class of your own. Right after I got out of high school, my mother bought me a Corvette, but I always wanted to own a Porsche. And I was only 23 years old. I had this idea that one of these days I was gonna buy me one. So I sold my Corvette. My first one was a 68 Targa 911. The next car I got was a 914. After that, I bought a 924. Then uh, I bought me a 1978 911 SC. And when I first test drove that car, and it just scared the living daylights out of me. I kind of had second thoughts. This car might be a little too much for me, but I love Porsches. I drove it, I got used to it, and again, I never looked back. So I drove that for four or five more years, and then I sold it. For the longest time, I wish I hadn't. I kept telling my wife, I want another one. So one Christmas, she decided to play a joke on me. She knew how bad I wanted a Porsche, so she went out and bought a little Porsche box with a key, a Porsche key, and she put it underneath the tree. She had me open it, and when I opened it and saw the Porsche key in it, I mean, my eyes just lit up, and she was smiling. So I figured, I got this key, the car must be in the garage. So I ran in the garage to find my brand new Porsche. It was brand new, all right, but it was only about this big. So it was a little toy Porsche, and she got a big kick out of it. Soon after Christmas, my birthday was in March, she allowed me to buy. The car that I have now, the 1991, is my fifth Porsche. I had my uh, doubts at first. I thought I wanted a sunroof, but there is nothing like a cabriolet. To hold their value, uh, this car is fast. I live out in the desert. Coming up the hill, I floored it at 100 plus miles an hour. My name's Earl Von Buck. I own a 1991 Porsche Carrera II Cabriolet, the car of my dreams. I've had the car since 1993, convertible. Just the air flowing through, the openness, it's exhilarating. It's, it's just fun. I always keep the top down. People pull up next to me and they stare at my car and they tell me what a beautiful car I have. It brings a big smile to my face. I've never had anything major. I've replaced uh, the fall lamps. Other than that, you know, I've never really had any maintenance issues. It's a Tritmatic. It's strong, it don't burn any oil. It has that rack and pinion steering, so it's real responsive. You know, so I try to get the soft tires so I can stay glued to the road. For me, it's better handling. They say uh, 138 heading up towards the mountain is supposed to be one of the most dangerous roads in the highway or in the world. So when I need to pass a car, I'm real confident. All I gotta do is just shift it down and I'm gone. I pass cars with ease and back on my side of the road with no problem. I kind of scare my wife when I mean, she drives with me, but it's just so much fun. And the car just handles. The injection system that this car has now is so much better. I think this is, a, if I'm correct, a 2.4 liter, around 180 horsepower for a six cylinder engine. It, it just goes. The response is there now, without hesitation. Out here in the desert, in the evenings, the sun going down, there's nothing like a summer evening drive out in the Mojave Desert. It's just beautiful. 